Hello, Mark Muscardin here, Web3 blockchain developer, and thank you so much for watching the first video of my video training series, which is gonna teach you how to adopt a smart contract security mindset by playing a very famous game that's called Ethernaut. Now, Ethernaut is a game with several challenges, and at each challenge, you are challenged to hack a contract and basically do things like own it, reduce its balance to zero, withdraw all of the money from it and send it to your account, so forth and so on. And it's so much fun to play. And as you complete each challenge of this game, you learn some of the most important security vulnerabilities that exist within smart contracts. Now, in case you don't already know, contracts are a very innovative new technology that allow us developers to program with real programmable money and value for the first time in history. And they exist on decentralized contracting systems and blockchains like Ethereum. So as a blockchain developer, it's really important for you and for me to really write very secure smart contracts and to adopt a smart contract security mindset because we're gonna be programming real money. So without further ado, I am now going to introduce you to the Ethernaut game. I'm gonna show you how to play it. And then we're gonna to start to play it by completing the first challenge. And then you're gonna get the drift of how to play this awesome game. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's learn how to play Ethernaut. All right, so the first thing that I would like you to do is to point your Chrome browser to ethernaut.openzeppelin.com, and that's gonna bring you to the game. And in order to play this game, you need to have the MetaMask wallet installed in your browser. So you need to have the MetaMask extension installed, which is this for anybody who doesn't know. And you need to make sure that you point the network in MetaMask to the Ropsten test network. That's a test net. That's not the main Ethereum network. It's a test network. So make sure that you have MetaMask installed and that you select the Ropsten test network. Now, what I want you to do next is to click on this link out here that says try out the Solidity 0.5 version because this will let you complete the game and the challenges using a later version of Solidity. So go ahead and do that. And once you are here, uh, click play now. So let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully by now you will have the MetaMask extension installed. And what I want you to do now is to open the console in your Chrome browser. And I do that from my keyboard by clicking Option Command I or pressing Option Command I on my keyboard. And the way that you play this game is by executing commands from the console that communicate with an instance of a contract that you're about to deploy. And by executing your commands from the console, you're gonna be able to execute functions on that smart contract and you're gonna be able to hack it as well. So the first command that we're gonna enter in our console is player. And player yields an account or uh, an Ethereum address, which is going to map to your account here in your MetaMask wallet. Okay, do you see that OX8772? It's the same Ethereum address, okay? So that's what the command player yields for you when you enter it from the console. Now, there's another handy little uh, function called get balance and you pass it an Ethereum address and it yields a JavaScript promise and you can click that to see the value that uh, is the result of that JavaScript promise. In case you don't know what a JavaScript promise is, <clears throat> JavaScript is an asynchronous language. So if you want to write JavaScript code that doesn't have all sorts of callbacks and you, you prefer a sort of more synchronous feel to your code, you can use uh, certain structures within JavaScript to make it more synchronous. So that's besides the point, but 
You can execute get balance in order to get the current balance of the address that you pass to this function. You can also use await before you execute a asynchronous command like that and instantaneously get a result, okay? So async await is a modern feature of the JavaScript language that again, uh, lets you write your JavaScript code in a more synchronous fashion instead of writing asynchronous JavaScript. Now you have to have the latest version of Chrome in order for this await key keyword to work. If you're using an older version of Chrome, this won't work. Anyway, I'm going to be using await before I execute my commands because I just, I don't wanna have to click on these promises here to get values and what, what have you, okay? So those are the two little handy function helpers that we have. There's also a help function here. Doesn't it seem to give anything at the moment? I guess that's a problem with the, um, with the game. But um, if you enter the ethernot command in your console, this is the game's main contract. It's called ethernot. And you're not going to interact directly with Ethernet. You're going to create an instance of Ethernet, this contract that we're going to be hacking and playing with. And that instance is going to get deployed to the blockchain. You'll have to pay the gas to uh, deploy to the blockchain. And um, we're going to be hacking around and playing with that instance, our own personal instance of the Ethernet contract. And what's really cool here is if you uh, reveal the functions available to you in Ethernet, you are going to get its ABI. And an ABI is um, sort of the functions available on a contract that you can execute from a JavaScript front end or from uh, a front end, you know, from a browser. Uh, contracts, once they get deployed and have publicly available functions you can call on that contract, uh, create what we call an ABI, which is just an interface that we can uh, execute from JavaScript on the front end in the browser in order to communicate with a smart contract on a blockchain. So that's just one thing to note. So that's the Ethernet contract. And um, one of the other cool features or functions we get on Ethernet is called owner. Uh, again, that yields a promise, so I'm gonna just type in await ethernet.owner, and what you're gonna notice here is that the owner of this contract is a different address, okay? So if you're new to blockchain development for Ethereum, um, wallet users like you and I, people who have wallets, we get our own uh, accounts, Ethereum accounts, they're called externally owned accounts, but uh, contracts, smart contracts that are deployed also have their own accounts. And um, the owners of those uh, accounts that deploy those contracts also have their own accounts. Let me, let me rephrase that. So when you deploy a contract on, let's say Ethereum, that contract gets its own Ethereum address and you can also specify the owner of a smart contract and the address of the owner that owns the contract is what gets reflected when we type in our console await ethernot.owner, okay? So whoever owns ethernot uh, owns this address. This is their address. Now that being said, moving forward, the next thing that you are going to have to do is after you have pointed your MetaMask wallet to the Ropsten test network, you need to have Ether inside of it. So what I want you to do is click on this link here and go to faucet.metamask.io and click request one Ether from Faucet. Go do that now. And if you don't experience any kind of bugs, after you press this, you should see one ether right over here, one F ETH in your MetaMask wallet. Make sure that you do that now. Once you've done that, the way that you start playing the game 
is by getting a new instance, okay? And you do that by pressing this button here, get new instance, and that is going to take the ethernot.sol contract, create an instance of it, deploy it on the blockchain, and that is what we are going to play against in each one of these challenges. So provided you now have some ether in your wallet, click on get new instance and the MetaMask notification modal is going to appear. And because you're deploying a new instance of a contract, which means you're gonna be changing the blockchain, you're gonna be changing the state of the blockchain, you have to pay the gas fee because whenever you change the state of the Ethereum blockchain, you have to pay gas. So if you have the necessary money in there, click, click confirm and that is going to create a transaction that's going to be submitted to the blockchain. And once that transaction gets confirmed, you're gonna be able to uh, interact with that instance of the contract. And that's what we're gonna be playing with in the Chrome console. So again, make sure that you are in the Solidity-05 0-5 version of Open Zeppelin. Make sure you have MetaMask installed. Make sure you have pointed your network to Ropston and that you have Ether inside of it and that you've clicked to get new instance. And of course, get familiar with the console here. And once you complete each challenge of this game, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this button here called Submit Instance. And that's gonna take your challenge that you've just completed and that you and which which requirements you've satisfied and that's going to submit it to uh ethernot and it's going to tell you if you won or not so that's all we're doing in this game we're starting off by by pressing get new instance we're hacking the contract by reading the code and seeing its vulnerabilities and then we submit the instance and then we pass or we fail so that's how we're gonna play the game. And I don't wanna hit submit instance right now because I don't wanna waste any of my gas. Now what we're gonna do next is we're going to complete our first challenge, which is the fall back challenge. And in this challenge, we're going to hack it based on the requirements that we have to satisfy in order to beat this level. And once you complete this challenge, you're gonna be starting to tr train your brain to notice vulnerabilities and flaws within contracts. So let's get to it.